How's it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my NFC wildcard game recap video. And this was actually my most anticipated game of the playoff season. Um, pretty much probably my most anticipated game that could possibly happen, aside from the Super Bowl. The Seattle Seahawks versus the Washington Redskins, Russell Wilson versus RG3, and the Seattle Seahawks come back to win 24-14 to after a quick start by the Washington Redskins. Um, like that, the Redskins got to a 14 nothing lead and can't score the rest of the game. And, man, it you got to feel bad for RG3. I mean, he gave it his all out there, but, I mean, he didn't look like he was 50%. He could not run. His running ability was absolutely completely diminished. If he could see an up in lane, he couldn't take off and run like he used to because his ankle injury looked so terrible. He couldn't even run like he like he couldn't run at all. He was limping the whole entire time. I don't even know why they would just I don't even know why they consider calling a running play for him because just the way he looked like he was when he was running it was so just not RG three. I mean, and he can't control how bad it his his foot hurts. I mean, or ankle, whatever it is. He can't control that, and it's sad to see it. That's how they end the season. I think if RG3 is completely healthy, that game's completely different. But, I mean, injuries are part of the game, and that's why things happen the way they do. And the Seahawks come back and win 24-14. This was their largest comeback win of the season. It's kind of hard to believe with it only being 14 points, but it actually was. 14 nothing like that, and then the end of the first quarter, or the, the half, it's 14-13. They kick a field goal. As time expired, and it was about a 29-yard field goal. And they go into halftime 14-13, come out. And the Seahawks, man, that play <laughs> when Marshawn Lynch ran, that the touchdown, the, uh, giving the lead, that that was very impressive, I believe, by Russell Wilson, uh, how he ran out and attempted to make a block. But I really do think that the, uh, the commentators made a way bigger deal than they should have for that. I mean, I know... 95% of the quarterbacks in the NFL would not have done that or attempted to do that, but his block really didn't have any impact on that run, I don't believe. He tried to, but it looked like he pretty much missed the man that he tried to block. Uh, I think he would have scored anyway, but still, you got to give him credit for attempting that because most quarterbacks wouldn't do that. And when you're athletic, like Russell Wilson is, you got to take advantage of everything you can do to help your team. And I think he, out of all the rookie quarterbacks, he had the most chance to actually bring his team farther in the playoffs. I mean, it's obvious now with Andrew Luck and RG3 out of it, and he being the only one, but beforehand, I believe that to be the case, too. Um, not just because of that, also because of supporting cast, but still. I think, either way, he had the best chance to bring his team to the Super Bowl, and he still may. I mean, you don't know. But, I mean, it's impressive how they came back. I thought it was going to be tough playing in Washington. Um, I didn't know RG3's injury was that bad. And it looked very bad. And hopefully, um, I'm at, you saw the last injury. Felt bad for him because he gets hit. Or it wasn't he being a hit. It was a really bad snap by the center. And it sucks to see your season go away like that because it was a bad snap by the center. And I bet the center felt absolutely terrible because his bad snap is what allowed RD3's knee to buckle like it did. Hopefully, it's not a severe injury. Hopefully, it's just a, a little sprain in his knee. And uh, I, I won't be, it wasn't his ankle that got hurt in that last play. It was definitely his knee. And uh, then there, the game was over. Uh, you could see him attempting to try to go get the ball after he dropped it or after it went behind him, and he had no chance of doing that because the way his knee buckled. And hopefully he'll be healthy uh, soon and get back next year, I think. The organization made great strides, and they're just not quite there yet. They need to surround him with a few more pieces. And it's going to be hard giving up all they had in the draft. But, I mean, they got the, the key piece that they needed in RG3. And I think in the future they'll be a better and better team. But this game alone, like I said, RG3 was not himself. He didn't throw the ball that well either. Like, he couldn't run either. Russell Wilson, on the other hand, played very, very well. I can tell you their stats right here. Um, RG3, like I said, they had the two touchdowns very easy. Both touchdown passes by RG3. And the rest of the game, it was just like he did absolutely nothing. He ended up 10 and 19, 84 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. Uh, Kirk Cousins came in late, did not look good at all after RG3 got hurt. I mean, can't kind of can't expect too much from a guy that is just coming in like that and late in the fourth quarter game trying to come back. But he ended up 3 of 10, 31 yards. Um, Russell Wilson, like I said, played very well. 15, care, 15 attempts, 26 attempts, 15 completions, 187 yards, and a touchdown. 
Um, he also ran the ball eight times for 67 yards. He did get a big chunk of that 28-yard carry on a play that should have been a pass to Sidney Rice. He was wide open, touchdown all day, and he took off and ran. They ended up scoring a touchdown anyway, so it didn't turn out to be a big deal, but uh, he probably should have thrown that pass to Sidney Rice. But anyway, he ended up eight carries, 67 yards. Um, Robert Turpin, Turpin, eight carries, 22 yards. And Zach Miller did get a nice catch to extend that drive. He ended up with 48, 48 yards through the air with the uh, two-point conversion to make a touchdown game. And Alfred Morris ended up 16 carries, 80 yards, five tu five yards per carry. Um, Robert Griffin with uh, – and we all know he runs the ball probably about 10, 15 times a game. 15 times a game, and he is limited to five carries for only 21 yards. So if I had to put it percentage-wise, like I said, I'd say RG3 is only about 50%, if not lower. And he just didn't have the ability to run the ball. And once the Seahawks realized that, uh, the game was pretty much over offensively for the Redskins because that is their offense. The threat of RG3 creates their offense, or the threat of him running creates their offense, and there was no threat of that. And that's <laughs> when the game is pretty much over. But Pierre Garçon did have a pretty good game. He had 50, 50 yards receiving. And the two touchdowns went to Paulson and Evan Royster. I didn't forgot about Royster catching the touchdown pass. The old Penn State great. So um, I, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you thought about this game in the comment section below. Let me know if you, if you think the Seahawks can beat the Falcons. So that's who they're going to be playing next. Uh, I'll be making my previews for those games as well. So please let me know what you thought about this game in the comment section below. I'll tell you the team stats right here. Um, Seahawks 5 of 13 on third downs, Washington 5 of 11, Washington went for it twice on fourth down, didn't convert either of those, Seattle was 1 of 2 on fourth down, um, 68 plays for Seattle, 54 for Washington, um, 380 total yards for Seattle to 203 for the Redskins, um, like I said 99 yards through the air for the Redskins, 138 for Seattle. Total of 224 rushing yards for Seattle, 104 for the Redskins. And I believe if the Redskins have a chance to win this game, their amount of rushing yards had to be more than the Seahawks. And that was pretty much doubled by the Seahawks. And um, two turnovers for the Redskins, one for the, uh, for the Seahawks. And that was on a fumble by Marshawn Lynch. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And um, I'll be here for the rest of the NFL playoffs. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, and as always, roll tide, go socks, and go Titans. See you. I'll see you later.